Ever wonder how there are so many Nurse Joys in the Pokemon games? We've all been told that's because they have a lot of sisters. But really, is it possible to have that many genetically identical siblings? Well, you never know. But still, we didn't want to let anyone know the real reason. It's far too unreal and out of character. I found her a secret, but I found out. I saw, and I'm here to tell you. It all starts when you walk into Pokemon Center. You walk up to her and see her bright pink hair. You greet her, she has this pretty voice that wasn't pretty to start with. You may or may not have a talk. She takes your Pokemon, turns around, heals them, and gives them back. That's your usual routine. Most likely, she'll be all nice and caring for the whole process. Give or take the personality, she adds. Because supposedly, each one is unique in personality. What we don't know is that she installed a tracking device in your Pokeballs. All six of them in case one falls off. Why? Well, when you entered the building, she knew you'd be perfect. She knew you had the characteristics for the job. Plus, you were still a new trainer. The less known, the better. Anyway, she keeps you tracked and alerts the other nurse joys you might encounter. That way, when you get to one of them, well, let's just say, they can care for you. However, if one of the nurse joys see a trainer they want and stays in the center to sleep overnight, that's where the real fun begins. You're assigned to a room. Most likely a room near the back of a Pokemon Center. Can I take your Pokemon to another room so they can be healed and rested? She may ask. Say no. Just say no. It's their way to isolate you. All of your belongings can go in this dresser so you can lock it and keep your items safe while you sleep. He says her in a voice you know, but will soon not love. The joys do this to keep you unarmed. Of course, you trust these kind nurses, so all the items you had go in a dresser and she gives you the luck. Good night. Please enjoy your rest. She tries to comfort you, but if you look closely, you may notice it's a fake face she has, because almost always they're full of excitement before a procedure happens. Can you guess the real reason now? If yes, then well done. If not, keep reading. At about midnight, usually when it is all dark and no living thing is up and about, except for a lovely and sadistic nurse, is when it all begins. The door to your room gently opens. There's no squeak or creaking noise, because she was smart enough to oil the door so no sound is made when it is opened. She comes in with a gurney. You know, those medical stretch things that used to carry injured people. Her face is not sweet anymore, but more devilish. She enjoys this ritual. She loves it. The rust. The adrenaline she gets. The red glow in her eyes. It's as if she's possessed by the devil himself. Although you're sound asleep, she doesn't take any chances. So she takes out a needle. No, it's not poison, silly. It's a liquid form of sleep powder in a very high dose. And I'll to keep it asleep for, say, two hours or so. The needle contains ten ounces. She needs all the time she can get for the procedure to be successful. She knocked out on a gurney, then pushed down the hall into a room that has been disguised as a nurse's only room. If ever somehow managed to see what's inside, here's what you would see. Severed limbs and appendages of different sizes and jars. Only ones that didn't transform properly. There are also testicles. Yeah! She cuts them off. She drags a male body underneath a saw tool that slices them off. She doesn't mind the bleeding. Actually, she collects the blood from the drain and jars it. You know, for when she needs a drink. After all, 
All the joys need a constant supply of blood. Now the next part is your favorite. Joy takes a knife and slices it down from the base of your neck to your groin. She does this very gently because she enjoys it. And if you were to wake up, then you would suffer slowly. At this point, Joy's hair is not neat. It's covered with blood. Her face has completely changed. Her pupil is completely blood red, and her tooth has suddenly grown a bit, causing them to look like fangs. No, no. She's not a vampire. Well, she could be, but that's not the point. Driven has a smile that's a mix of a clown and a demon. He takes out a bottle of serum with special DNA molecules in it. Joy DNA molecules to be exact. But before she does anything with it, Joy takes out all of your organs, except for a couple like your heart and brain. She stitches your open incision, but it's not a decent job. After all, it won't matter. The serum needs to be directly put on the brain for it to work. So naturally, Joy will take out a saw, a regular old slaw, and slice your skull, just enough for the brain to be showing. The serum is poured. After a few minutes, your body is becoming more joy-like. The heart and brain are revived, while new organs, joy organs, grow in an empty cavity that is your body. All your cuts are healed, and as if you had perfect skin. The process is, is complete. You wake up the next day, wanting to work at a Pokemon Center. Anywhere would do. We also have a DNA molecule forcing you to look out for minor trainers that could be the next joy. Of course, with this comes the ability to do what has been done to you. The thing is, you think you were born identical to the other nurse joys. But why go through the trouble of making people turn into joys? Why not just clone them? When I found out the original joy would like to someday rule the world with an army of joys, they will do anything. Because it's in their DNA to follow the original. The cloning would attract too much attention. Plus, the whole have lost sisters that are identical seems to have been a pretty good story. There you have it. Now you know. Wonder how I know this? Well, who's always with Nurse Joy? Who's the one in the background helping her? It's me, Chansey! Though I was told not to ever speak of this information, even though I am a Pokemon. So my to you is, come to the Pokemon Center in your own risk. You never know. The thing about the real Nurse Joy is, she likes to hunt around by herself. So when you're all alone, sleeping, or just relaxing, don't think you're safe. I heard she has a very pretty face for you to stare at. Oh, looks like she just chose another victim. I think it's you.